Hey guys, my name is Simon and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Okay, I know that many of you and probably me as well when this video will be published have started school and I know that even though summer ends the 20... 20... when does summer end? Summer began June 21st and ends September 21st. And even though summer ends September 21st, I know that when school starts, we're all thinking it's already autumn. But anyway, with this command tutorial, I want to remember that it is still summer and so I'm going to show you how to make a working ice cream machine in vanilla Minecraft. Okay, so let's get started building our ice cream machine here. So let's break the chest and get all the items that we'll need. Here are all the items that you'll need in order to build the machine. I'm going to go in survival mode to build it because, yeah, you can go and build it in survival. But um, to actually make it work, you will need uh, to be in creative mode. And I just uh, build it. Okay, why can't I remember? how my builds are made. Okay, so uh, first of all, you'll need to build this rectangle, a 2x3 rectangle, and here at the side place some other six blocks of white stained clay, and so we get this. Then you can place two quartz stairs facing this way, and two rails on top of them. We can place a sun here, and we can, for example, write in something like ice cream okay there we go we have a nice little sign and now we can place a button right here and two levers on top of the rails and now we have to go in creative mode because I don't have any building blocks but you'll have to cover all the top with carpets in this case white carpets okay and there we go our working ice cream machine is finished there is a problem though, uh, this machine is not working and to make it work we'll need some command blocks. So let's begin and first of all let's add a scroll objective which is called ice timer and it is a dummy objective. So you have to power this command block and there we go, the, the objective has been added. Moving on we just have to place a command block on top of the first lever, I in this case have chosen the right one and we need to summon this area effect cloud it is just basically like an armor stand but you cannot actually see it in even in spectator mode the only way to see it is by pressing f3 plus b and it will show you all the it boxes of the entities and as you can see that we have this kind of rectangle here which indicates the position of the invisible entity that we just summoned Okay, we need to summon one on top here as well, since we have two levers right here and we want to have two different flavors of ice cream, we'll need to change this to two. And yeah, uh, let's activate again the command block, and there we go, and let's replace the carpet, and yeah, there we go. Now if we flip the lever, as you can see, ice cream will pop out of that lever, and if we, if we activate this one, as you can see, it's chocolate ice cream and this was a strawberry ice cream so let's not waste any ice cream and just just close them uh, of course to get some ice cream you'll need to buy it because you need a, an ice cream cone in order to purchase some ice cream you'll need to place these two command blocks in the block underneath the block the button is placed on so let's go under here and make sure that this faces down and this chain command block as well uh, okay, there we go. Make sure that the chain command block is conditional, set to conditional, and always active, of course. And you'll have to paste the command that you'll find on my website for this command, and also for this one as well. I'll explain the commands later. So now we're just going to see how this thing works. We need to take some golden nuggets and an anvil, if I can find it, and anvil. There we go, we just dropped it, so let's place it. And we need to rename these golden nuggets with coin. So these are going to be our coins. 
and if we click this button now one coin will be taken from us and uh, it's not actually working okay so it there was a problem because both weren't facing downwards if you don't want to have any problems make sure that they're all facing downwards so um, I was saying if you click this button one coin will be taken and you'll get this nice ice cream cone as you can see and if you don't have any coins and as you can see it, it won't give you anything because you don't have the money to pay with one coin you can purchase one ice cream cone let's say that I want to fill this cone with um, let's see strawberry ice cream and we need to drop it right here and I am going to uh, flip the lever and my ice cream will be filled as you can see now we have this nice strawberry ice cream and if I go in game mode 0 let me do it and now I can eat it and as you can see it gives me uh, one and a half hunger bars and also two uh, extra arts that are going to last for two minutes there we go so this is the effect that the ice cream uh, gives you when you eat it and that's the same with the chocolate ice cream if I drop this and activate it it is going to fill that up and once it has done there we go we can eat it and we'll get um, our hunger and of course the absorption effect so now let's actually see what's behind this and what are the command blocks that make this work. Of course it is all these three lines of command blocks, I just divided them to make the explanation easier. Let's first see how the purchasing of the ice cream cones work. Uh, in this uh, impulse command block we are just going to remove a golden nugget from the nearest player only if it is called coin so it works only if it's called exactly coin this way and the other command block is conditional and it's going to be run only if this one has uh, successfully removed one coin from the player and here we are just using the give command we are just giving to the player an ice cream cone which has this ice cone tag Okay, uh, that's all you need to know. The ice cream cone, even if you can't see it, has the tag ice cone. So with this command block, we are going to add an ice cone tag if the item has an ice cone data tag of one. So it, this item gets the tag only if it is dropped on ground and it is actually an ice cream cone. So moving on, we, we execute from that item 1.5 block above. We're going to execute from any of the two flavors entity that we summoned at the position of the lever and we're going to pick the nearest one and we're also going to detect if the lever is pulled. And when the lever is pulled, it has a data value of 10, so we can test it and make sure that when you build the machine, you build it while facing east, so you won't have to change the data values of the lever to make this work. When we find the pulled lever, we are going to set the score to that same entity of ice timer to 1. We're going to add a score of 1. So let me actually display it. When we pull the lever and there is an ice cream cone this uh, number will increase and will make a timer that we need in order to um, detect how much time we need in order to fill the cone okay so now we're going to stop this chain and we're going to take a look at these two little command blocks so we're going to execute from the first flavor which is a uh, strawberry and we're going also to uh, see if the lever is pulled and if so we're going to play some black dust particles which have this number which is going to indicate the pink wool because these are uh, just pink wool particles and same with this one we are going to do the same for the second flavor and we're going to place some uh, brown wool particles so it's going to look like it's chocolate okay so let's go back to this chain when the timer reaches 80 uh, we're going to execute from the first flavor and we're going to summon an item which is a strawberry ice cream which is exactly this item right here same thing with the other flavor we are going to uh, look for the second flavor when the timer reaches 80 and we are going to summon another item which is the chocolate ice cream this item right here uh, let me okay this this item 
And moving on, we are going to play a sound that you just heard when the timer reaches 80. The same thing, we are going to replace that lever. When it fills up the cone, the lever is going to be pulled the other way. Uh, so let's wait, as you can see, in order to uh, make the ice cream stop. And we are also going to kill the ice cream cone that we dropped before it was filled. And finally we are going to reset the ice timer score, otherwise these command blocks will be um, will be run infinitely. So let's see how the eating system works. So to eat an ice cream you'll need to drop it using the Q key which is by default, if you change it you'll have to use that key. So if I drop it, it will be instantly uh, deleted and it will give me um, absorption and some hunger bars. So the chain responsible for this is exactly this one. Uh, so here we're going to add a tag if the eat ice data tag is of one and it doesn't have the no eat tag. Now when the item is just summoned it has a no eat tag otherwise it will be instantly deleted and will give me the effects. And so now it loses that tag and if we drop it it will get this tag thanks to this command block and moving on we're going to give an absorption effect to the Nunis player and we're also going to give some saturation and we're also going to play the generic eat sound. And finally here we're going to kill the item uh, so when you drop it it will disappear instantly and it will give you all the effects. So that's basically how this working ice cream machine works. This was actually an idea suggested by one of you, Zelda the Kibi Girl. Thanks Zelda for this suggestion. If you want if you want to submit an idea, you'll find the link for the module right now. And make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new and if you log my content. And I'll see you this week with another tutorial like this. And until then, goodbye! <laughs>